Alright guys, what's going on? Welcome to your 70th, I think, Android tutorial. Hang on, let me check. Um, Android tutorial. Let's see if it is 70 or not. No, no, no. Yeah, go to video. Yeah. No, it'll be 69th Android tutorial. Anyway, welcome to your 69th Android tutorial. Uh, this video, we're going to do notif uh, basic notifications. And in the next video, I'm going to show you advanced notifications with big picture view, the fancy new jelly bean ones. What the fuck, Marillus? <laughs> so I just noticed something weird with my uh, recording software. Anyway, let's get going. Uh, we're going to just call this notifications. Notifications. Twisted equations in the middle as usual. Uh, minimum required SDK. We're going to go Android 4. I'm dumping all support. Uh, before jelly bean or before ice cream sandwich is just not worth the hassle anyway usual nonsense zoom through create project come on notifications pop up there we go okay first thing as always delete that stupid text you don't need that I'm actually gonna make three buttons And we're going to assign onclick properties to all of them. Send notification basic. And we're just going to duplicate this across all of them. So I'll just change the text. Basic. Actually, you know what we'll do? I'll mix things up a little bit and we'll do a little uh, trick that I like using. So in the ID here, this will be B button basic. Button big picture. And button inbox. Change this text just to say big picture so we know which button is which. Although we should know. But hey. Never hurts. Okay. Main activity. Public void. Let me just copy and paste that just to make sure it's the right one. So notification. View view. Usual nonsense. Uh, control shift O. Okay, so we've got our thing set up. So we just need to, um, all we need to do now is differentiate between the buttons. So we're just going to switch, and the switch will be on view dot get ID, and our first case will be or dot ID dot button basic break. This will just activate the different code for the different buttons. Normal little bit of setup. Uh, button big picture. Button inbox. Okay. We're all good. Uh, better start my emulator. Have one prepared. I'm using the uh, very nice uh, Hacks em emulation for. Um, Oh god, failed to virtual memory. Always this nonsense. 768. Failed to allocate memory. Be quiet. There we go. Um, my emulator is much faster now because I'm now using the x86 Atom image instead of the ARM Android image. And uh, Intel provides those images for their x86 devices. And our, uh, if you have an Intel processor, I think S S Bloomfield or greater, which is normal i7s, I think you can use the uh, the emulator, and it starts really fast. Emulator is amazingly fast now. Anyway, that's not why we're here. We're here to learn about notifications. So first type of notification, or first thing we need to know about notifications is there's two types. There is 
jelly bean notifications and non jelly bean notifications so notifications got a dressing up in jelly bean now i'll show you how to compact make the notifications compatible on all platforms it's super freaking easy to be honest you do need the android support library it should be already here uh, if you create a project now so in order to create a notification we're just going to create a method i'm going to create a private void send notification or send basic notification I know I did, I touched on this in the last tutorial, but I didn't uh, do very much with it. So, you get a, how to create a notification is very simple. You create a notification builder, you use that to build a notification, it returns it, and then you send that notification to the notification manager on the system. It's a system service like the inflator and a couple of other services, like the uh, display service. So you just send it off to that service and then the Android system handles posting it for you. So let's create our basic notification, or our builder notification. So in order to do this, we're gonna go notification. Notification compat is what we're going to do, okay? Dot builder. That's what we're looking for, okay? I have it misspelled. New notification cap dot builder. Okay? And our context is this. Now the reason we use notification compat, I'll explain this a little more detail later on, but essentially when you build a notification uh, using the normal notification dot builder, the one built into the Android system, it returns a different object depending on what system you're using. So if you've jelly bean or that and you'd have to handle that manually. By using the notification compat builder, we build our notification to be the fancy jelly bean one. And then if and then when we call builder.build and it returns the notification object for us all ready to go, it automatically detects what version of Android we're using. And it goes, okay, he's using a pre-jelly bean version. I'll give him a pre-jelly bean notification and then we send it off. It's all managed for us. All you have to do is create your fancy notification and you're done. So let's do that. Builder dot uh, set auto cancel true. This means that when the notification is um, when the notification has been deleted off the system or wiped swiped away, viewed whatever, it will cancel itself. So if someone taps on the notification, the notification gets rid of itself. Okay. Set title. Oh, set content title, sorry. It's mixed up. Android tends to be a little bit hairy when it comes to its naming conventions. So set content title. Basic notification. In fact, I'll make sure to even spell it right. Okay, next thing. We want to set our text text could be anything we're not going to set a pending intent we don't want the notification to do anything but we'll just set our content text and that will be oh it could be anything we'll just say uh, actually you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go to Google and I'm gonna get standard copy we're gonna get the Lori Pocenium Blah, 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 text. I'm sure some of you have seen this text before. So we're just gonna create a string up here. I'm not asked to put this in the string resources. <laughs> yep, it's that gibberish copy text that's used by design. A lot of designers use this kind of thing uh, just for placeholding in a file. I know it's a bit, a bit much text, I'll actually get rid of half of it, but it does work pretty good. No reason not to use it. Okay, so we've got our text ready. 
So we're going to set our content text to be, what's that called? I call it content. Okay. And we have to set the small icon as well, okay? The little icon that appears. And where is it? Set large icon. So let's set the icon, it's order ID dot now it's order drawable we need. And we'll just use the IC launcher, okay? So let's get a notification object. Notification. N. I'll just say notification, notification. Blah. Didn't mean to do that. Equals builder. Dot build. And we need to import it. I've changed the notification. Okay. So we've built it. Now we need to get our notification object. So our, no our notification manager sign. Notification, I can't remember what it's called, not builder. Manager. Don't get system service. And we should see notification manager in this list somewhere. Notification service, that's the one we're looking for. Uh, import that, yep, got that good. We just need to cast it. Okay, and then we just say manager dot notify. We have, to, we have to give everything an ID, so we just say ten, eight for now. You really should give all these notifications an ID. Uh, the reason behind that is if we give a notification an ID, we can repost it and update the same notification over and over again. We'll do that in a minute, but if we just hit run, run its Android application, this method's not being called. I am an idiot. Yeah, do monitor log cat. Okay, let's rerun this, recompile it. Okay, what is happening there? Ah, all the buttons got shoved around because I changed their IDs and relative layouts. Don't like when you change their IDs. All right, we'll relaunch this. Okay, so let's send a basic notification. And there we go, basic notification with gibberish text. Excellent. So, that's it for this video guys and uh, next video we'll send a uh, a inbox type notification and then we'll set a big picture notif or an inbox a big text and then a big picture notification in the next few videos so that's it guys as always good talk and see us out there